If you have a youth rider that's on a 65 and all brands, KTM, Husqvarna, Gas Gas, Kawasaki, Yamaha, if you've struggled with carburetting for those motorcycles at all in the past and you just wish it wasn't something that you had to deal with, then this new micro carburetor could be exactly what you need for your 65 bike. Now look, we all know that jetting a motorcycle can be kind of a pain, especially if you're not too familiar with it, if you don't really know what you're doing, trying to get the bike to run optimally, depending on where you're riding, the conditions that you're gonna be in, it can be pretty tough. There's a lot of things you have to factor in. The elevation that you're gonna be at, temperature changes, humidity, things like that can change, especially if you're doing you know, big changes in elevation. For us here in Utah, we're at about 4,500 feet. You know, Most bikes, they're gonna be jetted for sea level. And you know, a great example, my oldest brother, he has a 65 for his son, it's a Kawasaki. He bought it, runs okay here at 4,500 feet, which is the stock jetting, but we took it up to about 8,000 feet doing some trail riding. The bike ran terrible. It was running way too rich and it almost wasn't rideable. And in that situation, you would have to rejet the bike to try and get to run you know, as best it can at those two different elevations but my brother he just wasn't that familiar with it he had no idea what to do and so in that situation this electron can save the day and the way that it works is there's no jets inside here so you don't have any sort of idle jet there's no main jet there's no needle jet so you don't have to worry about oh what size idle jet do i need what main jet size do i need you don't have to worry about any of that and the way that these carburetors work and the magic behind them is with this guy right here. This is their metering rod. And this is the same technology that they've been using in their carburetor for years. And the way it works is really, really simple, okay? You have this metering rod that goes down into this, or you have your slide with the metering rod. Now, normally, on a traditional carburetor, your needle is just gonna be tapered all the way down to a point at the bottom. With this one, you can see that it's round on one side, which is the intake side, but on the side facing the engine, it's chamfered or it's flat. And the way it works, the technology behind this is just like you, if you've ever been to a river and you have a rock that's right there in the middle of the river, water comes, it hits that rock, water goes around it and it creates that eddy on the other side of the rock that's actually downstream and that water actually starts to come back towards the rock. So this is working the same way just with air. So air comes through the intake, it hits the metering rod on the round side, goes around and when it hits this chamfer side, it creates that eddy effect. And that eddy is what will pull the fuel from the float bowl up. And what's cool about this and the way that it's self-adjusting is you're just using physics here. So depending on the temperature, the elevation, the humidity, all these things are going to factor in how much air is coming through and hitting this metering rod. And that will dictate how much fuel is going to be pulled up on the chamfered side. And that's the way it's self-adjusting. And they work phenomenal. Like I said, read rider reviews. I've talked to many riders that use these on small bikes and big bikes. And honestly, I haven't heard any negative things from any of those riders. So they, I know that they work really, really well. Now, what's nice though is that there is some tuning and adjustability that you can do with these carburetors. So there is a choke on these. So, you know, for cold starts, you just pop the choke, start it, let that go. But then you also have their power jet, which is right here on the side. And this is easy to adjust, it's just a flat blade screwdriver. And the power jet is gonna be for mid to wide open throttle. And this is gonna allow you and the rider to fine tune the power delivery. So if your rider is riding motocross tracks and they want the bike to be aggressive, so when they really just crank the throttle open, they're getting that power delivery quick and it's hard hitting, you can adjust it to do that. But if you're doing more trail riding, enduro type riding, and you don't want it to be as snappy and have that abrupt power delivery, you can tune it to be a little bit more mellow and to smoothen out that power. So it really just depends on the rider, their skill level, the type of riding they're going to be doing, but they do give you the ability to fine tune that with that power jet. What's also nice about these two is that they say that you're gonna get about a 12% increase in power when you install this, which on a 65cc is gonna be a big deal. They also say about a 30% better fuel economy as well. And what I like too is that the float bolt on the bottom here, it's clear, it's made from a really, really hard plastic. And just being clear, it's gonna make it really easy to see your fuel levels inside the float bowl. But again, if you have a rider on a 65cc motorcycle and you've struggled with jetting in the past or it's just something that you don't wanna deal with because you're not that familiar with it or if you're like us you know, and you live at high elevation but you like to go down to lower elevations at times or vice versa and you don't wanna have any of that worry, 
Electron can be exactly what you're looking for. And like I said, they have the micro, they have the mini, and the full-size standard. So if you have questions or comments though about these, we'd love to get those answered. So make sure, leave those down below. To grab one of these today, click the link or head over to RockyMountAtvMC.com. The dimensions for this are on the product page, so you can look at that. You can take measurements on your bike if you're not quite sure. But we also have the drop down, so just select like the year, the make, and the model of the bike that you're shopping for on the product page, and that will ensure that this will fit your motorcycle. But hey, we're here to answer your questions, so leave those down below. As always, get subscribed to the Rocky Mountain YouTube channel if you haven't already. Smash that notification bell, that way you're up to date on videos like this and you never miss out. I'm Chase, and we'll see you on the trails.